In this video, we're going to look at how to create um, navigation inside a dashboard inside PowerShell Universal. So by default, if you have a multi-page dashboard, such as the one I have here, um, the navigation will set itself up automatically as this um, hamburger menu that includes uh, both or all of your pages. Any pages that do not include any route variables will show up inside this navigation dropdown. Um, you can see I set this up by creating a page array and then adding new pages to that page array uh, and then finally specifying new UD dashboard with that array of pages. And now I have two pages and I can navigate between those two pages. If I want to do some custom navigation though, what I can do is I can actually set up a navigation variable and what I want to use is actually a new UD list item. So you're going to specify a array of list items and each one of those list items is going to show up as a link inside the navigation. So this is how you override the um, kind of built in navigation of these pages. So what I have here is uh, two parent list items. First one is for page one and the second one is just parent and then, as you can see here I'm not using href I'm actually using children. So if you specify href, that's the location that you actually want to navigate to. So in this case, I want to go to page one when this is clicked. But in the case of this parent that has children links, um, it's not actually going to go to anything. It's just going to expand and display these two links inside um, my navigation. Uh, on these nested navigation, you can see that I'm specifying nested to actually change the visual um, appeal of this particular list item. And I'm setting two different hrefs. Uh, this href is going to a local page, which will be page two, and this is going to an external link, which is going to be the Ironman software website. So once we've defined our navigation, what we can do is we can actually set the navigation parameter on new UD dashboard. So let's save that, and you can see the page reloads. And now when I look at my navigation, you can see I have this dropdown. So I have page one, which will navigate to page one, and I also have page two that will navigate to page two. Finally. I have an external link and when I click that, it's gonna take me over to the Ironman software website. In addition to being able to set a uh, kind of custom navigation and define what you'd like inside the navigation, you can also specify a navigation layout. So the navigation layout changes the behavior of the navigation. So by default, we use this hamburger menu and it's what's called temporary navigation. But if you change it to permanent and save this, what you're going to see is that instead of having a hamburger menu, you now have uh, this permanent navigation menu on the left hand side um, that's always visible. In addition to being able to specify static navigation, you can also specify dynamic navigation and we can do that using a script block. So rather than using a, an array here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this over to a, a script block and then what I'll do is I'll change this navigation parameter on new UD dashboard to uh, load navigation. Save that. And what you're going to see at first is that it, it looks the same. So there's not much um, going on there. But what you will notice is I can put logic inside my script block. So for example, if I wanted to create a new list item here and I wanted to specify this as get date, uh, just so that we have something that updates when we reload the page, we'll save that. And now you'll see that I have uh, this date right here. Um, and right now it's 12.31.07. And if I were to refresh this page, what you'll see is that that date has updated. It's 12.31.18 now. So every time the page loads, it reruns this navigation um, script block here. So this is a good way to uh, check roles and that kind of thing. So as the user is logging in, you can check to see if they have maybe an administrator role and you can show um, pages based on um, that role in the navigation. Um, you could also put things like uh, other components in here and that kind of thing based on um, logic you may put inside your uh, navigation script block. So in this video, we went over how to set up navigation inside a PowerShell Universal dashboard.